So we were asked to show you how to make a guacamole. And since we're on a keto kick right now, I decided let's make a keto guacamole. But in order to do that, first you need to make a salsa because you want to put some pico de gallo inside the guacamole. It makes it taste better. And both of those can be keto. Now, in order to make it keto, the dippers are really important. You can dip cucumbers, you can dip pork rinds, you can dip uh, keto crackers such as almond flour crackers. All of those are really good. But the dips themselves have no carbs in them or what carbs they do have are really minor. So let's start out with the salsa. Roma tomatoes. You can actually take any kind of tomatoes, but we like the Romas. And we're going to throw those in a bowl. Then we want to take about a quarter of a sweet onion or a red onion, whatever you want. We've got that all chopped up already. Okay, you want to put in about maybe three tablespoons of cilantro. Now some people don't like cilantro, I don't particularly like cilantro, but it goes pretty well in salsa, but if you want to avoid it, you can use parsley instead. Then you want to go ahead and take somewhere between one to a half of a serrano pepper or a jalapeno pepper. Serranos are a little spicier. We're going to make this a nice spicy salsa, so we're using a whole serrano pepper chopped up. This is a serrano pepper. They're a little bit longer than a jalapeno, which tends to be a little shorter and fatter. Okay. Serranos are spicier, but we're using the serrano because we want this to be a little bit spicier. Then you want to take one clove of garlic. Here, like sperm from the center of it, because that's the bitter part of the garlic. And then you want to go ahead and chop it up. So you're going to throw that into your salsa. Now you want to take the juice of one lime okay now normally you would use a dried chili you'd reconstitute it in water because of the issues that have come about with coronavirus and the quarantine uh, it's hard to get certain things at the store we ran out of our dried chilies. You would normally use a reconstituted dried chili in here. You could use a hatch, you could use an ancho, you could use a pasilla, any kind of dried chili reconstituted, you chop it up and you throw it in here. But because of the quarantine and the coronavirus, we wound up not able to get it because our stores all ran out of dried chilies. What we do have in the house is we have some ancho chili powder. So I'm going to throw that in. That gives another dimension to the salsa. Even though we don't have the dried chili, we have the powder from a dried chili. And I'm going to throw in about a teaspoon worth of ancho chili powder into the salsa. Now it's just a matter of stirring it together. You can let this develop over the course of an hour or two. You really don't want to refrigerate it because if you get your tomatoes unrefrigerated and then you refrigerate them, that kind of ruins some of the flavor. So you don't want to ruin the flavor. Another thing you can put in your salsa, don't put a lot of it in there, but you can put in about an eighth to a quarter cup of olive oil and that makes the salsa smoother. Then you want to put in about a pinch of salt. Just right. Now this is perfect for a dip. Like I said, you can dip crackers in here, you can dip pork rinds, you can dip cucumbers. That's good. But it's also great to use to make your guacamole. And so we're going to do that next. So guacamole is probably one of the easiest and most keto friendly dips you can make. And again, you can dip anything you want in it as long as it's keto friendly to make it ketogenic. 
Now, if you're not on a keto diet, you dip tortilla chips in there and it'll be wonderful. And you can do that with the salsa too. So to make guacamole, we're going to start with two avocados. You cut it in half. You want to remove the seed. And probably the easiest way to do that, you make your incision in the, in the pit like that and you twist it and it comes right out. Now, you can cut this into cubes and pull it out or you can just use a spoon and scoop it out. Now the bowl I have here is called a mocajete and that is the Mexican version of a mortar and pestle. You use it to grind things and we're going to grind up the avocado to make a paste. Now you can take all of the salsa ingredients and throw that in separately, but since we already made a salsa, we're going to throw in, oh, about a half a cup of salsa. Then you want to throw in about a half teaspoon of cumin. Mix that all together. Now this in and of itself is a perfectly serviceable guacamole, but to make it a little extra special, we're going to throw in a touch of sour cream. This is wholly optional. One of the restaurants near us actually put some mayonnaise in theirs and that's actually quite good too. Actually I'm using about two tablespoons of sour cream in this guacamole. Now we have lime juice in our salsa, but you could put in extra lime juice in the guacamole. The lime juice will keep the avocados from turning brown too quickly. But because we already have it in our salsa, this is going to be our guacamole as is. We don't need to make additional lime juice in here. This should be good. Almost perfect. It needs a little bit extra salt. So we're going to do that to add some salt to it. Perfect. So very simple. Okay. Well, this is great for a keto diet because the only fats in here are avocados and olive oil. Both are very good, rich sources of omega-3 fatty acids. They're very healthy on a keto diet. And as long as you don't eat the chips with them, they're actually quite healthy. Now we've got chips here because if you've got a party going on, you can put chips to dip in, but you want to dip something different. You can dip pork rinds, chicharro, basically the, uh, the pork skins that they crisp up and these are actually a traditional Mexican uh, food. In fact, a lot of people will just eat these chicharrones and they're really good for dipping in guacamole. It makes a very tasty snack. Some people have a problem with the concept of chicharrones. Well, in that case, you can use a keto-friendly cracker or a cucumber chip. This is a, a nice brand of keto-friendly crackers that we like. They have uh, something like two net carbs per serving. It's a nice, tasty chip. 